Hi, is this recording? I have no idea. I am filming it on my super old little uh, point and shoot. This is a Nikon Cool Picks. Chip isn't very happy, but I'm sitting here. I'm um, going through some old footage from just like old memory cards or SD cards and I stumbled, well I didn't stumble, like I know that I have all of this, but I came across and I was going through old footage from like 2022. I went to Europe back in 2022 in October and I kind of vlogged a little bit. It was my first time ever going to Europe. I did go with my parents. So I was just going through the footage. It's really cute just kind of like reliving those moments and I I was obviously planning on posting those as soon as I got back, but I probably just got lazy. So I never did that. And now, by the time that you see this, I'm going to be back in Europe again. So I kind of wanted to post these old vlogs. I know they're like from almost two years ago now. I just... Every time that I've traveled, I've posted a little vlog just for like me to look back at and remember the good times and all that. So yeah, this is what's happening. I'm going to be posting uh, my old Europe vlogs from back in 2022 that never got to see the internet light. Who knows what this footage is going to look like? I have no idea. Or if you're going to be able to hear me or anything, like this quality is very old, very grainy, but it's kind of cool. It's like vintage, you know? Just want to like let you guys know about that. Going back to present day, I am going to be going back to Europe. I am still in shock and I'm kind of nervous because this is my first girls trip that I ever do. I'm 28 and this is my first girls trip. I'm going with my bestie. Since we met, we talked about how we wanted to go to Europe together. Like literally probably from the very first time that we ever met, like first encounter, we started talking about Europe. And here we are now, about to go on a little girl's trip. I'm so excited. I will let you guys know where we're going because by the time that this goes up, like I'm gonna be there. So currently I am enjoying wherever I am. I don't know when I'm gonna be posting this, but um, we, as of right now, that I'm not there, filming this on March 23rd, we're gonna be going to London. I already visited London, loved London, and I knew that I wanted to go back again. So when we were planning the trip, I was like, I know in my heart that I wanna go back to London. That was my all-time favorite spot out of all the places that we saw. So yeah, we're gonna be doing London first, plus my friend didn't visit. It's a whole story. Let me briefly share it. We were actually supposed to meet up because she also went for the first time ever with her husband. So me and my family went. Our last stop was going to be in Barcelona, and that was gonna be her first stop. So we were gonna have like two days or something together. So like our last two days and her first two days, but things happened and we ended up canceling Spain. So she didn't visit London, so she obviously is gonna be exploring it for the first time. I'm so excited for her. I I loved it. I seriously favorite, favorite place. And then we're gonna be going to Paris. I also visited Paris, but for like a day and a half, so I didn't really like get to explore it much. But from the very little bits that I saw, I thought it was really, really beautiful. So that's a really great spot for just a little girl's trip. And then lastly, we're gonna be going to Barcelona, which that's gonna be my first time obviously visiting and exploring Spain. Oh, and Edinburgh. We're gonna be going to Scotland for a little, just like a day trip. That's the plan. As of right now, yeah, I leave like after Easter Sunday. Whenever Lent season comes around, like we don't do any travel or as of more recent times, we stopped doing really big plans or like traveling in my family because we know that this is a really special holy season. You know, Lent is all about Jesus and his crucifixion and all of that. So I was like, I need to wait until after Lent and then I can travel. So yeah. Anyways, enjoy this vlog. I don't even know what I'm putting in this one, but this is just context for, I guess, the following vlog. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, whatever. That's that. Just wanted to say hello more than anything. I'm still alive. I really do want to pick up vlogging again. I feel like this trip is going to really re-inspire me to start picking up my camera again because I just, I've missed it, honestly. Even like the most mundane, super realistic, at home kind of vlogs are really my favorite to watch. So I know that if I enjoy watching those, why not film them? So that's what I'm gonna start doing. That's that for now. <laughs>
Hello everyone! Yeah, today is Sunday. Today is the start of Passion Tide. So I have like two weeks of some pretty intense focusing because Jesus' day, his death, sadly but joyfully is coming in a couple of weeks. So yeah, these next two weeks I'm gonna be really diving in into more prayer and more preparation just because I really feel like doing it and just kind of going even more in for these next two weeks. I've been kind of participating in this little thing during Lent. So um, yeah, I know that for these last two weeks, I really want to go in and do more. It's been a really beautiful Lent season for me. It just recently, I kind of wanted to share this because I want to document it for myself, obviously. And I should write it in my notebook actually, but but um, I've been obviously in a season of singleness for a very long time. I've been single my whole life, but as of recent, like the past two years or so, I feel like I've definitely grown in my faith so, so, so much. And I've, <laughs> I don't know how, it's just all thanks to God. I've just felt so much more of a calling to grow closer to him and do more, like, like actually doing fasting and going to confessions and participating in novenas and doing the rosary and praying and like all these things. <laughs> I've been like, I guess, receiving signs as in like, I'm in a, in a very interesting like transition period of where I, I'm serious. I'm just like noticing myself and I'm like, whoa, I'm trying to do everything because I feel like I need to prepare. <laughs> So yeah, just a couple days ago, I think it was Friday, um, I did go to, oh my gosh, I don't I, I can't think of the name right now. I'm going to think of the name and put it here on the screen because right now I can't think. But anyways, I went and spent some time with Jesus with my mom. I went with my mom to daily mass on Friday and then afterwards we stayed to like holy hour. I guess that's the word. I don't know. I can't think of the name right now. We were there in the presence of Jesus. And, you know, I was there praying, closing my eyes. <laughs> and when I had my eyes closed, I got this image of my future husband, which is, okay, so ugh, it sounds really crazy, but I feel like this is going to be part of my testament. And I just want to have it documented somewhere. I don't know anything, but this past Friday, again, when I was there, just with my eyes closed, I saw him. The image, the scene was very interesting because I'm like, why would I put this together? Like, I know that this wasn't my imagination and me creating the scenario. Like, no, this was Jesus while I was there in his presence. And I would, and again, I never saw his face and his presence, which is very masculine, just like in my dream. I'm telling you, I saw him. I know it was him. Jesus showed me him because I've been praying for that for a long time. I've never encountered a man that looks like this in real life ever so who knows where he is right now that future husband of mine but anyways yeah i feel like these next two weeks i want to dive just in deeper and lent and just kind of hear jesus a little bit more spend more time with him and just just have like a more slow time and just spend time with him i don't even know how to describe it but i want to squat down because i'm a little tired i feel like i just grabbed my camera and just started talking without any context but because i haven't even said hello like hello welcome to my channel i haven't spoken to the camera in quite some time but this lent season this is the most beautiful yet sad time because we all know what happens like jesus died and he sacrificed himself for us but at the same time like it's the most beautiful time because it just shows you just how much he loves us, that he was willing to offer himself up. God gave his only son for us. Imagining that, like if I had a kid and like offering, heartbreaking, so, so, so heartbreaking, but I think a little emotional just thinking about like, wow, God loves us so much. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so happy with my life. It's not what I, like I wouldn't imagine that I'd still be single <laughs> in my idea you know i'd be married by now but despite that my life is so beautiful i have my parents oh my gosh i think they say my new neighbor <laughs> i think that's my new neighbor that's so funny my life is so beautiful my parents are healthy they're still married <laughs> My brother is healthy as well. We've received so many blessings in our life and big changes are happening soon. All of that is just a reflection of just how much God loves us. I don't want to say these things just because it may, it may seem braggy, but every single day I'm just amazed at 
everything. <laughs> I mean, even just with me having my own job, being able to have some kind of income when other people are really struggling, that's a blessing in itself. I work for myself, so if I need to take time to go and take my parents to the airport, go pick them up or something like that, because they both just visited Mexico, like I was able to do so. And like all these little things, I'm just, I'm so, so, so grateful. Dreams that I've had, I feel like I don't want to share too, too, too much, but <laughs> just know that while reflecting on my life, I'm like, wow, God has been so intentional with everything. And I'm so, so grateful. So I know that these next two weeks, I just want to go even further <laughs> in prayer and spending time with him, picking up my Bible again, because I haven't really been reading, or actually I haven't been reading my Bible. Um, I have a trip coming up very soon in a couple of weeks. I'm going to go on this fabulous trip with my bestie currently we're long distance friends that's so sad we met here and then she moved and she is so far loving where she's loving so i feel like she's gonna be staying there for quite some time so <sighs> kind of sucky but you know i can always go and visit her which is really nice so yeah we're gonna have a little girls trip and i'm so excited because even with that small little thing i'm like i remember back when i didn't have friends i would pray to god and i'd be like you know one of my dreams is to like have girlfriends that I can go on trips with <laughs> like just a simple little thing like that and God has been making those things come true they've taken time but they're happening and I'm like wow even with that God is so intentional everything has been moving so smoothly and so beautiful my friends are happy and healthy I'm just really really happy and yes even though I'm still waiting for that dear future husband of mine wherever he may be i'm excited to, <laughs> i'm excited to meet him and obviously nervous because i'm just like oh my gosh but still i'm i'm just i'm really happy i obviously haven't shared on here but my word for the year was new obviously <laughs> it's a new year like how cliche of me to be like yeah my word for the year is new and new year lots of new things are happening me traveling and having this little girls trip with my bestie it's new a very big change another big change that i don't want to share yet new very new we're literally starting from zero all new but yeah those are just some of my thoughts new neighbor <laughs> oh, that's so funny now uh my neighbor is not the man that I saw in my dream. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy and just thankful and <sighs> feels like just like, it's crazy because I'm like, the more that I get closer to God, the more that I start to feel, it's very weird. I get, <laughs> I get more emotional just when I think about him and just how good he is and just my life is proof of that. Also just things that people are doing that just to have them so distant from god makes me really sad but more than anything i'm like wow it's so sad to see that they're so lost and so far from god and the devil really has a grip on them right now so i'm just like wow really praying for them a lot because it's just really heartbreaking to see that these things are happening you know all we can do is pray and god will take care of it you know when i was saying that i get emotional i'm like that makes me emotional because i'm like if only they knew if only they knew just how good life is when you're with god life would be so different they would be so different sometimes ego gets in the way i'm gonna pray for them continue to pray for them because they really need it seems like people aren't praying for them so i'm gonna be praying for them and hopefully we we see god answering those prayers sometime soon before it's too late. Wow, this got really deep. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I was just kind of in the mood to chat, to say hello, share my thoughts, let you guys know what's going on because I don't think I've ever really spoken about my faith on my channel, but this is where I am right now in my life. And I'm kind of really excited to start talking about it more and just sitting down on here and just chatting and like letting you know my thoughts. And again, I don't know why I wanted to share about the, me seeing my husband because it's a little... Hmm, actually, no, it shouldn't. But I was going to say it feels a little scary because it's like, oh, what if it doesn't happen? Or like, what if it's not as I thought it would be? But why should I be doubtful? Like, I know that that was God. I know that that was God. 
like there's no other explanation i'm serious these were not my thoughts these were not my imagination scenario things like i did not come up with these things like i know that that was god there was peace it just made sense even just now i can tell you that even though i haven't met my future husband like i'm already so thankful to jesus i'm like well, <laughs> thank you in advance for the incredible man that you have for me i'm telling you i'm telling you and i feel like i've always felt this that he's gonna be just all i'm gonna want to do is cry when i meet him just because i'm gonna be in such disbelief of you're actually real this is what god had for me like god is so good thank you again how is this real how are you like that yes so thank you jesus in advance for the incredible husband that you have for me i already know because god only wants the absolute best for us as his children especially as his daughters that's why he's had me waiting for a very long time and he's saved me from a lot of hurt don't get me wrong i've still experienced hurt and dissolution because obviously i've had crushes that just haven't reciprocated those feelings <laughs> but still i'm like wow even with that i'm like thank you jesus thank you thank you thank you so uh don't we oh my gosh 17 minutes of me just okay i'm gonna leave i guess i don't know when i will talk to you guys again probably soon because i have my girls trip coming up super soon so i'm definitely gonna be vlogging this time so those are my thoughts this is where i am um yeah. Bye. outside the hair salon so i'm gonna be getting my hair done today i desperately need a little trim because my ends are looking a little damaged i'm also dyeing my hair back to dark i'm really embracing my like natural hair color era yeah so actually prior to me like dyeing my hair i loved my hair i loved my hair and my hair color i was just like curious to see what I would look like with you know lighter hair with like a different color so that's why I dyed my hair not because I hated my hair color like I love my natural hair color and now that I'm back to being a brunette I'm absolutely loving it it's funny because I didn't know that I was going to feel this confident going back to being a brunette because when I went blonde I felt so confident it really just like boosted my self-esteem and now being back to a brunette I feel the same way so i'm just keeping it i really like it plus it's just like low maintenance and it's natural obviously i was born a brunette because jesus knew what he was doing he knew that i was meant to be a brunette god knew that so yeah i'm right outside i'm adding a little bit of this badger ball because my hands are so dry and yesterday i went to sprouts and i found this it feels really really nice and definitely gives the hydration that i need you can't see because the lighting is a little bit bad but it definitely does hydrate my hands this is the thing so i'm going to get my things ready and head inside and then afterwards i'm going to grab a little coffee from the coffee shop downstairs because it is a warehouse so there's a bunch of different vendors and there's a coffee shop downstairs so yeah let me get my hair done let's go hello everyone i'm back with my new hair so cute we're back to dark i ended up getting a little iced latte there's literally a woman next to me in her car but it's okay i got an iced vanilla latte and then i went to trader joe's and got some macadamia nuts and pecans and the truffle chips they just sounded good so that's all that I got. Now I'm gonna be heading back home because I need to get back to work. But just wanted to share that. Like look at the hair. It's so amazing. Connie does an incredible job every single time. Looks so healthy. 
and I just really love it. So yeah, I'm gonna head back home because it's already one o'clock and I need to get started with work. Hello, hello everybody. So yes, you're gonna be hearing the vacuum in the background. There's vacuuming happening, but I kind of wanted to briefly share my little outfit of the day today. Okay, so I do have like my hair parted even though I do have bangs, but I just woke up with my hair like this. So I was like, I'm gonna rock the middle part because I haven't, you know, done this in a few weeks or a few months ever since I got short bangs, but I kind of like it. I think it's really fun with the dark hair. Looks so mysterious and bold and fun. So anyways, here's my little outfit. I have this long sleeve white and gray striped little turtleneck with these cute little like ruffle edges. Same on the sleeves. I'm tucked in to this sweater mini skirt. It does have a matching sweater, but I kind of just wanted a little bit of contrast. So yeah, a little gray midi skirt. And then I did add my little black leather jacket. Oh, by the way, the skirt was thrifted. This is, I don't remember, this is super old. Maybe like TJ Maxx or something. This jacket is also thrifted. Really cute, I like the crop look. <laughs> it's really giving spring, I know. But we woke up with like very rainy, kind of chilly weather today. So this was the vibe today because I was like, I might as well take advantage of the cold weather and wear some of the jackets that I didn't really get to wear during the cold months because the weather was just like very crazy. So kind of living the winter vibes right now. And then for shoes, I wore my mom's riding boots. I took them off because I'm going to be trying on some clothes because I am doing a little bit of packing right now. So I just want to make sure that I can make multiple outfits with the few little pieces that I'm taking on this trip. I'm so excited, you guys. I am thrilled and also a little bit nervous because this is my first trip on my own, like overseas. I'm going to Europe, like on my own. I mean, I am going to be meeting up with my bestie in... DC and then from there we're both gonna be flying together to Europe so technically not alone but as in not with my parents like I've only ever flown out of the country with my parents you know with my family so it'll be great it'll be so fun a great experience I've been checking on the weather and I think it was yesterday it was showing some rain but right now the rain went away so I hope that it stays that way and if there's a little bit of rain I hope it's just like a little drizzle it just passes by and we're still able to really enjoy I know that it's definitely cold um so I will be layering things but yeah let me try my things on i'm gonna be doing a little tiktok so go and check out my tiktok for all the outfits you know that 333 method i'm kind of wanting to do that but i am obviously taking a few more pieces because i am going for like two weeks i think it's 13 or 14 days so yeah go and check out my tiktok and again sorry for the vacuuming in the background.